previously on The Real Housewives of Dallas. I am so excited to have our grand opening of Lemon Avenue Plastic Surgery and Laser Center. I'm so Are you proud? proud of you. Yes. I did it. As a kid, I did not have as close of a relationship with my dad as I wanted. This is Denmark. Maybe reconnecting with my relatives in Denmark will help me reconnect with my father. Next week, we're doing this cooking lesson. Leanne is highly irritated with me right now. She thinks I'm digging into her personal life. Her relationship is between she and Rich. You do not need to keep participating in this push, 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 push. She feels like because I don't drag you to all these events, we live separate lives. What the hell does that mean? You need to figure out whenever you're gone if the boys and I should come see you. Travis is leaving in a few months to go to Harvard Business School. I don't know, I just get really anxious whenever I'm by myself. It's gonna be chaos. Are you saying I have a drinking problem? Why wouldn't I have concerns that the only thing that she's doing with Brandy is drinking? She said you're an alcoholic? I'm sorry, I just... This isn't my first rodeo, so I'm not taking your bull. Investing in drama is not in my budget. When life gets messy, just build a bigger closet. Running a family business is a job for one tough mother. I've got heels that are higher than your standards. You don't mess with Texas, and you don't mess with me. Hello. How are you? Thank you. I know I owe you big time. Yeah. <laughs> Sexy weekend ahead. <laughs> Warning. Be nice, huh? <laughs> it's gonna so be nice some nice hard night. nights for me. <laughs> Great mornings for me. When I think of hard night in morning, I think about sex. That's why I love working with my husband because my husband is hot. <laughs> Hard Night Good Morning, when it started, it was because I was a party girl. <laughs> right. You know, Hard Night Good Morning was very true to me, and my college roommate named the product for me because of, you know, my lifestyle. Now that my mother has decided to retire and turn the company over to me, this is really our first step into rebranding. The products really are anti-aging products, but they're great for that 25 to 35, 40, as well as my age. So I want to still go with party all night and then look great the next day. I'm 49 years old and I have good skin. And I want people to see what I look like. If I look like I've had a hard night, not a good morning, it's oh, not gonna work shoot. either, so. Oh, God, this is so much pressure riding on me right now. I'm the face of my products. If people buy my products because an 18-year-old looks good holding them, that really is not a testimony as to whether or not they work. All right, ready? Here we go. I love that. Yeah, there you go. Of course, I'm going to hire my husband for this shoot because he's a photographer. And, you know, the price is really good. <laughs> yeah. Done. Let's take a break. Got it. Oh, okay, thank you. I was asked to help host the opening party for Elizabeth W. Boutique. I met Elizabeth through a charitable organization. And Elizabeth knows that I am a big fashionista, and she knows that I have such amazing girlfriends that are involved in the charity world. Hi! Hi. I definitely know a lot of women that will be buying these clothes, and I know a lot of women that will probably be camping out in her store, waiting for the next best dress. How was last night? It was nice. So heavy. Well, especially when I'm supposed to be planning my wedding and be happy. I know. And Deandra last night at your party called my relationship fake. She said Rich and I lead separate lives. How long have you been together with Rich? Uh, over nine years. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's a long time to fake something. So oh. I can't fake something for like 30 seconds. <laughs> my life with Rich, right. it's nobody's business in this mother. That's what I just don't like. I feel like. 
like people need to be more conscious of their words and but like what not. people are saying. I am completely past all of the drama from last year and how much Leanne hurt our family. But the irony is not lost on me that Deandra and Brandy are kind of making Leanne's relationship public. And I hope now she kind of realizes how much it actually hurts. Much like when I said to Deandra last night, why does this have to be the only thing you do with Brandy? Are you calling me an alcoholic? Has she ever had that issue in the past? I've gotten drunk with her plenty of times, but I don't consistently see her intoxicated. Neither. But have you not lately? If you're showing up at a charity event sloshed and faced, not many charities are gonna want you to come and help them. Nobody wants a drunk at a charity event. Don't let that be your concern. Just don't insert yourself in that. You're not gonna win. It's gonna come out in the wash, and you know it always does. I just can't help having a lot of stress about this cooking thing tomorrow. What? Because Carrie had the opening of the laser center, and when I went in there, I was nervous because Leanne and I had kind of, you know, stopped talking for a while because she's like, well, I'm really concerned because I think you have a drinking problem because, you know, you and Brandy go out a lot and you're always drinking. I can count on one hand how many times you guys have gone out. Right, so if, exactly. If you're an alcoholic, like you're that, always that's going crazy. out with Brandy. I mean, it was so shocking to me. I was just like, what? Okay, Leanne, two instances where I drink with Brandy. One was my birthday, another was a charity event. You know what, it's none of your damn business. That's and childish and immature. That's her. You know what I mean? That's how she deals with things. I feel like the words I say get twisted instantly, and I don't see them pushing her, I don't see them pushing you. Yeah, and I think they're bullying me. Only Brandy and Deandra have a problem with me. You don't have a problem with me, Cam doesn't have a problem with me, Stephanie doesn't have a problem with me. Mm -hmm. Just 